This is our third ceremony today, and this ceremony is for the Faculty of Engineering. But firstly, on behalf of the university, I'd like to apologize to you all for those of you who are hoping to attend a graduation procession today. We don't take the decision to cancel these processions lightly, and unfortunately, the forecast had said thunder, lightning, torrential rain, and big storms. And of course, anybody with the remote scientific background will understand that we would have formed one great big giant lightning rod walking down the street. So unfortunately, we had to make the decision to cancel the procession. I'm very sorry. It's, I think it's only the second time in about 80 years that that's happened. But you're all here, and that's probably why. So thank you for coming. Your students or graduands will be coming in very soon. Please feel free to take photographs when they're coming in and when they're on stage. But please also be considerate of all the other guests around you. If you're going to stand up and take the photograph, please make sure you sit back down again fairly promptly. The students will process in very shortly, followed by the academics who will sit on stage, followed by our official party, and during that we'll have a singer singing Gaudiamus. The words will be on your program. At this point, you'll all still be standing. Now is a great time for you to switch off your mobile phone because we don't want that going off in the middle of the ceremony. And at the end of the ceremony, we'll all sing the national anthem together with your graduates. When the official party leaves, we'll then get the graduates to leave. Please wait until all the graduates have left before following them out into the foyer. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to receive your graduates.
mai e te manu hiri tu arangi, nā taku pō tiki, kwai tiki mai o te velua, kuku mea mai rā, hara mai rā, hara mai rā. Tēnei te reo aroha, te reo mahana ki a koutou ngā tauira mai te whare wāna ngā o tāma ki mā kaurau. Tēnei pō tā tātou pō tai tanga e, hara mai rā, hara mai rā, nau mai rā. Please be seated. <coughs> inga mana, inga reo, inga hoe fa, tenakoto. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katou. Vice-Chancellor, Pro-Chancellor, Council members, special guests, staff, graduands, family and friends of graduands. As Chancellor of the University of Auckland, I extend a warm welcome to you all on behalf of University Council members and staff of the University. In particular, I welcome our guest speaker, Mr. Michael Purvan. This is a meeting of the Council of the University of Auckland for the purpose of conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. This week, we will be conferring and awarding more than 7,000 qualifications on some 6,400 students, in person and in absentia. At this ceremony, 506 students will graduate in person and 96 students will graduate in absentia. I will be assisted by Mr. Peter Kiley, Pro-Chancellor, in the awarding of diplomas and conferring of degrees. <coughs> this is a happy and memorable occasion for you, the graduands, as well as your families and friends who have supported you during your studies. We congratulate you all. Equally, your achievement brings pleasure and satisfaction to the academic and professional staff of the university who have played their part in your success. <coughs> At this point in my welcome, I was going to say that the graduation procession today had brought academic flavour and colour to the streets of Auckland. Unfortunately, the rain this morning put an end to that. But in this ceremony, you will experience the, pomp, the pomp and tradition benefiting your well-deserved day of celebration. Over a period of 130 years, the University of Auckland has become a comprehensive, research-led university with a strong international reputation. Today, there are more than 40,000 students and 5,000 staff. Moreover, we are New Zealand's largest research organisation with one third of the country's externally rated world-class researchers. Within New Zealand, only our university is ranked within the top 1% of the world's universities. We also have a strong commitment to Māori education. Of all the Māori degree graduates in New Zealand each year, 25% come from just one institution, the University of Auckland. We jealously guard our position amongst our competitor universities and are always looking to create new opportunities for all of our undergraduate and postgraduate students. Last month, we confirmed the purchase of the 5.2 hectare former Lion Breweries site on Kaiba Pass. This purchase will provide the university with a site for expansion over the next 50 years, contiguous with the city and Grafton campuses and with the major <coughs> business area in Newmarket. It will have a huge impact on the Faculty of Engineering. 
and we, will, we look to occupy the first of the new facilities in November 2014. So as you graduate, please reflect on ongoing learning opportunities and consider the wide range of postgraduate options available to you at Auckland. I ask you to consider that because we can never rest on our laurels, especially in a challenging and ever-changing world. Whatever path you follow, I urge you as the alumni of New Zealand's leading university to never forget your alma mater. We rely on our graduates for support, moral, political and financial. Funding constraints are a perennial problem for New Zealand universities who are being asked to do more and more with less and less each year. In fact, in these hard times, we should be spending more on universities, not less. But that is enough of the, of the substantial issues facing us all as members of a 21st century university with high aspirations. Because today is your day with a focus firmly on your achievement. At this ceremony, we will honour your success along with the support of your family, whānau and others who have sustained you through your studies. I congratulate you and trust that you will long cherish the memories of your graduation today. I am delighted to welcome as our guest speaker, Mr. Michael Purvan, who is the General Manager at Altitude Aerospace Interiors, part of the Air New Zealand group of companies. After graduating from the University's Facul Faculty of Engineering in 1989 with a B in Mechanical Engineering, Michael joined Air New Zealand Engineering Services as a Structures Engineer. He was subsequently <coughs> appointed leader of the Aero Support Group which oversees aircraft repair and minor modifications. In October 2001, Michael took a position with Boeing in Seattle. He returned to Air New Zealand in 2003 to lead the Auckland design team, later becoming man <coughs> manager of Air New Zealand Design Services, delivering the major Air New Zealand 747 interior upgrade in 2004. On the back of the success, Air New Zealand Design Engineering pursued third-party contracts, which ultimately led to the proposal to form Altitude. Michael led the formation of Altitude Aerospace Interiors Limited in 2008 and became General Manager. Altitude's primary focus is providing innovative custom furniture for jet aircraft cabin interiors in particular for Boeing and Airbus jet aircraft. Altitude provides comprehensive services for three main product offerings, VIP aircraft completions, aircraft interior reconfiguration, and interior product for jet airlines. Please join with me in welcoming Michael Pruvan. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, Pro-Chancellor, Dean, staff, honoured guests, graduates, family and friends. It is an honour to be here today to address you as the class of 2013. When I was asked by the university to speak here today, I thought, cool, I can address a bunch of young engineers. I do that pretty much every day. But then I realised this was different. It's not about tomorrow's targets and next year's aims. This is about one of the biggest moments in a person's life. It was back in 1989 for me. So what message do I, do I want to leave with you before you all get too agitated, uh, waiting to have your turn on the podium? I want to leave you with a message of hope and expectations that we have of you into the future. You have achieved an amazing accomplishment. 
no matter where you have started from, whether as the first in your family to graduate or as the next in the line of a family of academic achievers. Society, your family, and your own hard work have given you a very privileged position, one of immense knowledge and ability. The world I graduated in was one of economic turmoil, growing computer usage, and rapid technological advances. Remember the crash of 87? The Sinclair electric car, anyone? Think big energy projects? Maybe not. The country I graduated in was primarily an agrarian economically, and it was proud of its fresh green image. In some ways it hasn't changed, but it has. It's got tougher, it's got faster, it's got bigger, and quite often all of the above. Now you have this newly acquired knowledge and ability, what can you do to make a difference for our economy, our environment, our quality of life? First, be proud, but I'd also like you to be loud. That as engineers, we are here to make a difference, because those who precede you have made a huge difference, but we have not always made too much noise about it. We must make more noise as a profession, for we cannot expect the public, business, and politicians to fund our endeavors to improve the world if we don't make them aware of what we have done and what we can do. I know many of you went into engineering because you like technology, you're pretty good at maths, chemistry and physics, not necessarily to go and change the world, but you will, and not always in the engineering field either, often as bankers and business leaders politicians and public servants. This is where your ability to make sense of and solve complex problems will make you a powerful facilitator of change. But remember, change is not about process and systems diagrams, it's about people. And therefore, as we expect you to go and create new and innovative, high-tech, high-value businesses that create wealth for our country, solve great infrastructural challenges that improve our quality of life, and remove environmental hazard to secure our planet for the future, remember to make a noise about it. I'd like to give you a little anecdote of just how hard that may be at times. This is personal. Recently, I took my niece, young niece and nephew to the Motat Aviation uh, Hall. Great environment, I thought, to show them what their uncle does in creating technology that flies eight miles high, the speed of the bullet. And my niece and nephew were very politely wandered around the halls with me. And then my nephew leans over very quietly his father and says, so we're the fast cars. <laughs> but the one that really got me was my niece, four-year-old. She saw that glass escalator, or alligator as she liked to call it, and that was the highlight of her tour. <laughs> so it's not always easy to communicate technology and what we do and how we do it, but you have to try. As a colleague of mine reminds us occasionally, back in the 1970s, before any of you were born, or most of you, at the engineering school we used to have a chant, and in some ways that catches what we need to do, although at times I have to say the chant was probably a little misunderstood. But we must raise it again. It goes, we are, we are the Auckland engineers. And I would like to add, we are, we are here to make a difference in our careers. 
I know this is a great challenge and responsibility, but you are up for it because those who went before you have proven it's possible. We know you are, and we're also extremely proud of your achievements today. The ones we know, but also the ones we know you will accomplish in the future. Finally, I'd like to have, say a big thank you to all who have supported, taught, and guided the graduates through to this monumental achievement. Your efforts will not go unrewarded. In conclusion, I join everyone here in offering you my most sincere congratulations to the class of 2013. Give yourself a huge round of applause. Thank you, Mr. Pervan, for an insightful and challenging speech. <clears throat> Can I ask all of you to join with me in thanking Michael again for his address? <clears throat> this is a meeting of council in, convoca in convocation of the university at which the Pro Chancellor, Peter Kiley, and I will be conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. I invite the Pro-Chancellor to award the diplomas and confer the degrees in the first half of this ceremony. By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Peter Kiley, Pro-Chancellor, confer the degrees and award the diplomas stated upon those who, within the faculty, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I call upon the Deputy Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, Professor Margaret Highland, to present graduands in that faculty. Pro Chancellor, as Deputy Dean, I have the honor of presenting to you the students qualified for the award of a diploma or conferment of a degree in the Faculty of Engineering. Graduate Diploma in Engineering. Vaishali. Graduate Diploma in Engineering, Transportation. Graduate Diploma in Engineering. Vaishali Amrutla Suturiya. <laughs> Shuai Yang. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Second Class Honors, Second Division. Yoon Seok Hong. <laughs> Stephen Allen Jupp. <laughs> Jack Derry Rose. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering. Ahmad Tafik Ahmad Ziad. <laughs> Amar Habib Kambir Ali Al Ansari. <laughs> Thomas Edmund Cuthbert Bilkey. Okay. 
Bradley Glenn Blucher. Hui Chen. Genesis Diep. Yao Xiang Feng. Kaluachi Gamage Pasan Madura Jayatalaka. Dung Ho Jin. Darren Jurgens. Shammi Anushka Karunaratna. Tamid Zahur Khan. Varun Ketripal. <laughs> Han Byul Kim. <laughs> Hyun Jun Kim. <laughs> Ching Lin. <laughs> Zi Chao Lin. Shuai Ma. Dennis Moananu. Hyung Bo Moon. Delivad Hemdad Nuri. Scott Henry Oakley. <laughs> Chinarat Pangpanakul. <laughs> Kind Chester Savio Quadras. <laughs> Mark Aaron Reed. Matthew James Russ. <laughs> Sanchit Shukla. <laughs> George Maliono Chiong. <laughs> Sugiyono Chu. <laughs> Dale Christopher Wallach. David Yuhao Wang. <laughs> Yi Jan Wang. <laughs> Wu Wei. <laughs> Hai Xin Zhang. To the degree of Bachelor of Engineering Honors with First Class Honors. Bridget Francis Allen in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Senior Scholar Engineering, Lauren Elizabeth Anderson in Chemical Materials Engineering. <laughs> Vincent Yuana Bakhtiar in Engineering Science. Sarah Catherine Bacon in Chemical Materials Engineering. <laughs> Jinya Bao in Mechatronics Engineering. <laughs> Chrislyn Braganza in Engineering Science. <laughs> Zoe Christina Brooks in Civil Engineering. Aubrey Elise Bullen in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Nick
Nathaniel James Burberry in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Claire Rebecca Burnett in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Jinghui Chao in Mechatronics Engineering. Sahil Julian Castellino in Civil Engineering. Andrew Roy Gordon Chambers in Computer Systems Engineering. Chin Yao Chan in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Shi Liang Chen in Software Engineering. Wai Man Chung in Civil Engineering. Si Wa Carol Ching in Civil Engineering. David James Douglas Chiswell in Civil Engineering. Senior Scholar Engineering, Alistair Mark Collins in Mechanical Engineering. Nicholas Hugh Corlett in Mechatronics Engineering. Samuel Robert Corney in Civil Engineering. Allison Meredith Craigie in Civil Engineering. Thomas Dugan Dawson in Civil Engineering. Matthew Philip Dickey in Civil Engineering. Timothy William Fanislow in Computer Systems Engineering. Jervis Faustin Ferreira in Computer Systems Engineering. Wolf Fisher Scholar, Senior Scholar Engineering, Daniel Ewart Fitzpatrick in Chemical Materials Engineering. Charlene Carman Fung in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Marnie Fornisek in Civil Engineering. Katie Fife in Mechanical Engineering. Senior Scholar Engineering, Robert John Gallican in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Meng Gao in Civil Engineering. Rachel Erica Gasson in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Go Chun Meng in Biomedical Engineering. <laughs> Jason Paul Greenwood in Software Engineering. <laughs> Nicholas Francis Gregich in Civil Engineering. Siddharth Gulati in Chemical and Materials Engineering. <laughs> Elliot Samuel Heron in Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Su Man Huang in Biomedical Engineering. <laughs> Elliot Jack Cordell Hurst in Civil Engineering. Terence Mark Aguilar Ibasco in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Rohan Vasant Jayakar in Mechatronics Engineering. <laughs> Igor Sigovich Jivik in Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Ali
Abilash Kamenani in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Siho Kim in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Michael Conrad Klingenberg in Chemical Materials Engineering. <laughs> Timothy Ben Klingenberg in Mechanical Engineering. Michelle Anna Napstein in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Senior Scholar Engineering, Bhavish Kumar in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> James Randall Kutia in Mechatronics Engineering. Johan Miras Vasnika in Chemical Materials Engineering. <laughs> Alan Michael Lee in Engineering Science. <laughs> Jason Lee in Software Engineering. <laughs> Senior Scholar Engineering, Julian John Lees in Civil Engineering. Jun Peng Li in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Yadi Li in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Wenjie Robin Liang in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Chi Wen Lim in Biomedical Engineering. Zheng Yi Lim in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Fei Yan Ling in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Mona Xiao Yu Liu in Chemical and Materials Engineering. <laughs> Yu Liu in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Senior Scholar Engineering, Annie Ian Lu in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Michael Colin McDonald in Engineering Science. <laughs> Sean Robert Marriott in Computer Systems Engineering. John Michael McCarthy in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Simon Peter Mekail in Biomedical Engineering. <laughs> Catherine Jane Mills in Civil Engineering. Senior Scholar Engineering, Scott Cameron Minahan in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Sri Sai Ram Narayana in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Ka Xing Jason Ng in Biomedical Engineering. Kevin Keng Sang Ng in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Ng Leslie in Chemical and Materials Engineering. <laughs> Sharon Chu He Nu in Chemical and Materials Engineering. <laughs> Christian James Nicklin in Civil Engineering. Mifanwi Jane and Tika Norton in Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Fides Idea Quintana Oreta in Civil Engineering. <laughs> C. 
Samuel Christopher Palliser in civil engineering. Sharon Joy Paracal in civil engineering. Ajay Parbu in software engineering. Elliot Lawrence Powell in mechanical engineering. Dive Punj in computer systems engineering. Mohammad Reza Razapar in electrical and electronic engineering. Mitchell Logan Roberts in civil engineering. Mitkumar Lalit Chandra Shah in electrical and electronic engineering. Jai Bruce Simkin in civil engineering. Banu Rathi Sivananda Raja in civil engineering. Mitchell Henley Smith in civil engineering. Karen Rachel Stokes in civil engineering. Patrick Michael Swinburne in chemical and materials engineering. Benjamin Yang Jia Tan in me mechatronics engineering. Dominique Lorana Thomas in mechatronics engineering. Jordan Carl Toms in software engineering. Stella Marie Turvalainen in civil engineering. Alan Joshua Veal in mechatronics engineering. Alice Yu Chen Wang in software engineering. Chen Fei Wang in chemical and materials engineering. <laughs> Ching Xian Jonathan Wang in mechatronics engineering. <laughs> Senior scholar engineering, Kei Jia Wang in biomedical engineering. Senior Scholar Engineering, Ya Ting Wang in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Rebecca Margaret Whitworth in Chemical Materials Engineering. <laughs> Jessica Chia Lo Wang in Chemical Materials Engineering. Samuel C. Yuan Wang in civil engineering. <laughs> Xiao Xiao Yi in engineering science. <laughs> Stephen Chun Man Yung in civil engineering. <laughs> Yi Wen Yu in electrical and electronic engineering. Jun Bo Zhang in electrical and electronic engineering. <laughs> Alex Lin Hao Jia in civil engineering. <laughs> Hao Zhou in civil engineering. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering Honors, with second class honors, first division. Yarko Abri in civil engineering. Anderson Augusto in mechanical engineering.
Dia Shariha Amanuddin in Mechanical Engineering. Victoria Catherine Anderson in Civil Engineering. Logan James Ball in Mechanical Engineering. Thomas John Hornibrook Barlow in Civil Engineering. Amir Eric Bonimus in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Patrick Jacob Brown in Mechanical Engineering. Katie Ann Jane Buckles in Mechanical Engineering. Arvi Camille Peralta Carpio in Software Engineering. Ming Yun Chan in Civil Engineering. Yang Guang Chen in Civil Engineering. Samuel Jun De Cheng in, civil, in Engineering Science. Chun Hao Chu in Mechanical Engineering. Eric Cheng Wei Shui in Computer Systems Engineering. Howard Kyo Hao Shui in Mechanical Engineering. Jason Chung Liang Sen in Mechanical Engineering. Edlin Colasso in Civil Engineering. Rebecca Gloria Crotty Jones in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Matthew Liam Crowder in Engineering Science. Daniel Carl Cunningham in Civil Engineering. Yi Ming Dai in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Surajit Dasgupta in Mechatronics Engineering. Joan Marie Davidson in Civil Engineering. Manura Palmajit Sawan Chandrasiri de Silva in Mechanical Engineering. Mark Richard Deacon in Mechatronics Engineering. Matthew James England in Civil Engineering. Kuhana Swari Ezumalai in Chemical Materials Engineering. Lucy Catherine, Catherine Ferris in Civil Engineering. Emma Marie Folks in Civil Engineering. Yi Jing Guo in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Michael Robert Hanks in Engineering Science. Mikael Velatort Haysom in Civil Engineering. Alexandra Yali Hainan in Mechatronics Engineering. Anthony Adto Hing in Civil Engineering. Logan Richard Horsford in Civil Engineering. Andrew Kilgore Horsley in Civil Engineering. David Alexander Hoskins in Mechanical Engineering. Warwick 
Vincent Isaacson in Civil Engineering. Marcus Edward Jakes in Civil Engineering. Amir Saifi Kapasi in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Dong Man Kim in Mechatronics Engineering. Peter Kitayev in Civil Engineering. Kelvin Jia Wei Kong in Chemical Materials Engineering. Kazutu Kora in Mechatronics Engineering. Swapnil Sandash Kotare in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Logan John Kramer in Mechanical Engineering. Aaron Kumaravo in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Sahan Tahara Lalpe Wikrama in Civil Engineering. Alvin Singtek Lee in Mechatronics Engineering. Pasita Lisakul in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Dina Abba Rose of Sharon, Leulu Aya Lee Ioasa in Chemical Materials Engineering. Dixon Pok Chung Leung in Mechatronics Engineering. Helen Elizabeth Liley in Biomedical Engineering. Matthew Stephen Lillis in Civil Engineering. Brendan Lynn in Chemical Materials Engineering. Jin Liu in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Wing Young Simon Liu in Software Engineering. Esther May Lloyd in Engineering Science. Benjamin James Trace Masterton in Mechanical Engineering. Megan Amy May in Mechatronics Engineering. Rishikesh Reddy Narayan in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Carl Gary Neal in Civil Engineering. Jared Bradley Olson in Civil Engineering. Craig Charles Patterson in Civil Engineering. Catherine Sarah Parbu in Civil Engineering. James Vincent Parker in Mechanical Engineering. Divang Patel in Mechatronics Engineering. Matthew Bruce Payne in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Nelson Philip Pearson in Mechatronics Engineering. Jonathan Michael Perkins in Civil Engineering. Nicholas Robin Porter in Engineering Science. Varun Venkatesh Purushottam in Mechanical Engineering. Durgadevi Shantini Ragupati in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Yi Jun Ren in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. 
Glenn Michael Riley in mechanical engineering. Kimberly Ramirez Rogers in civil engineering. Tim Henry Rogers in civil engineering. Ripul Suchdeva in civil engineering. Keegan Shea Saville in civil engineering. Tim Johannes Schierlink in mechanical engineering. Ryan John Schoenbrucker in civil engineering. Celia Elizabeth Schofield in chemical materials engineering. Varun Prem Sharma in civil engineering. Shauhan Shi in civil en engineering. Ranmala Duwega Chanisha Lakmini Somatalaka in software engineering. Michael James Standen in software engineering. Gabriela Tatang Surja in civil engineering. Nicola Hui Xian Tan in civil engineering. Gabrielle Maureen Tanjung in chemical and materials engineering. Suchita Tanija in computer systems engineering. Thank you, Pro Chancellor, for conferring the degrees and awarding the diplomas in the first half of the ceremony. One of the great pleasures of graduation is the opportunity to hear performances by students from our acclaimed School of Music. Shono Isamura, accompanied by Kento Isamura, will now perform the Gwena Bison, Opus 20, by Pablo de Sarasate.
Thank you, Shauna, for that wonderful performance. Can I ask you all to join with me uh, in thanking Shauna again for that uh, piece? Thank you. <clears throat> by the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Ian Parton, Chancellor, award the diplomas and confer the degrees stated upon those who, within the Faculty of Engineering, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I now call upon the Dean, Professor Mallinson, to present further graduands in that faculty. Chancellor, as Dean, I present to you further graduates in the, in the Faculty of Engineering. To the degree of Bachelor of Engineering Honours with Second Class Honours, First Division. Venkant Santosh Rohit Tatali in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Rhys David Thomas in Mechatronics Engineering. William Tew in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> Rebecca Tasker Upton Birdsell in Chemical and Materials Engineering. <clears throat> John Gregory Verzig Ian Garkis in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> Ivan Petar Walnitz in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Hekai Wong in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> Ming Yei Wang in Mechatronics Engineering. <clears throat> Anna Manjari Wekaran Nagiki in Chemical and Materials Engineering. <clears throat> Victor Wong in Civil Engineering. Joshua Thomas Workman in chem Chemical and Materials Engineering. <clears throat> Peter Wu in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> Hanzi Yang in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> Matthew Yi in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Asama Hazem Yosef in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <clears throat> Carl Shui Yuan in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering Honours with Second Class Honours, Second Division. Yuan Jose Alvarez de Lugo Colmenares in Civil Engineering. Juan Asher in Mechanical Engineering. <clears throat> Terence Spayes in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> Sujan Bai in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> Lyle Owen Barker in Civil Engineering. Ashley James Blewett in Mechanical Engineering. <clears throat> Mackenzie Allen Bolt in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> Joseph John Brennan in Civil Engineering. <clears throat> Joshua James Burdett Briscoe in Civil Engineering. Christopher James Butt in Mechanical Engineering. 
Marie Alexandrine Natasha Campbell in Engineering Science. Han Sol Cha in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Sarah Naomi Chamberlain in Civil Engineering. Edwin Hong Min Chan in Civil Engineering. Wing Sun Chung in Mechanical Engineering. David Christopher Ching Hua Cheng in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Hyun Jun Cho in Computer Systems Engineering. <laughs> Jackson Yan Sing Chu in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Shane Allen Alex Cox in Civil Engineering. Nicholas John Craig in Civil Engineering. Samuel Horton Cray in Mechanical Engineering. Braden John William Cummings in Mechatronics Engineering. Ahmet Diar in Mechanical Engineering. Natalie May DeProse in Biomedical Engineering. <laughs> Jinran Duan in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Scott Oliver Elder in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Tumanoko Nahuika Faha Oe in Civil Engineering. Jintian Fan in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Jack James Gillard in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Tashaswi Gonagontla in Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Haiyo Huang in Biomedical Engineering. Sung Sin Huang in Civil Engineering. Grant Evan Jamison in Mechanical Engineering. Pulith Kavinda Kapagama Giganagi in Civil Engineering. Alexandra Jordan Laomoli Fiona Kier in Civil Engineering. Mira Kim in Computer Systems Engineering. <laughs> Nicholas Mark Kito in Software Engineering. <laughs> Jason Daniel Lamb in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Ryan James Laami in Civil Engineering. Ling Lee in Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Martin Dick Lee in Chemical and Materials Engineering. <laughs> Zhu Shang Lee in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Olivia Alice Mackey in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Ho Sing Mack in Mechatronics Engineering. <laughs> Tulili Makal Masai in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Nur Ayuni Mohammed Zahari in Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> James Polyfew Tomanogi. Maunono in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Ma
Michael Moon in Civil Engineering. Hanisha Nimagada in Software Engineering. Elizabeth Ashley Owen in Mechanical Engineering. In Hoan Park in Civil Engineering. Elpish Patel in Civil Engineering. Mohit Rajan Fadness in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. William Luke Potter in Civil Engineering. Alexander Bolt Pari in Mechanical Engineering. Gavin Bruce Ralph in Civil Engineering. Nicola Ram in Civil Engineering. Hassan Mahmoud Mohammed Abdel Moniem Raslan in Biomedical Engineering. Mike Hard John Riddling in Civil Engineering. Young Son Ro in Civil Engineering. Daniel John Samuel in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Juriko Ruida Santos in Computer Systems Engineering. Michael Os Shabbat in Civil Engineering. Aaron Lee Smith in Biomedical Engineering. Nazreen Solomon in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Gideon Matthew Steinberg in Software Engineering. Chun Ming Tan in Mechanical Engineering. Patrick Pak Chung Tang in Civil Engineering. Eugene Tok in Civil Engineering. Yu Wei Tok in Civil Engineering. Tiaraha Kieran Francis Tuhi in Civil Engineering. Ashley Martin Watson in Civil Engineering. J. Christopher Whiteman in Civil Engineering. Rob William Wilson in Mechanical Engineering. Mingri Zhang in Mechatronics Engineering. Jianzhu Zhang in Computer Systems Engineering. Shaiyi Zhang in Civil Engineering. We haven't got that one. <laughs> Jing Tang Zhang in civil engineering. Uh, Xing Yue Zhu in biomedical engineering. Oh, Lang. Oh, well, that's right. <laughs> Lang Zhi Zhao in civil engineering. Xing Yue Zhu in Biomedical Engineering. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering, Engineering Honours conjoint with First Class Honours. Olivia Lorraine Ashby in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Herman Joseph Hong in Chung in Electrical and Electronics Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. Tai Jun Chin in Electrical and Electronic Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Thurindu Bandara Herath Denawara in Computer Systems Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. 
a DT Day in Chemical and Materials Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Thomas Michael Fox in Chemical and Materials Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Deminda Koshalia Abbasing Gunawadenda in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. Nathan Alexander Hickman in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Brian Thomas Hill in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Isabella Rose Howey in Chemical and Materials Engineering and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Andy Yuhang Huang in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. Chung Ting Justine Hui in Computer Systems Engineering and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Jun Jiang in Electrical and Electronics Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Maria Paula Leon Rosas in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. Benjamin Henry Milson in Computer Systems Engineering and a Bachelor of Laws Honours. Sarah Alexandra Milson in Biomedical Engineering and a Bachelor of Arts. Brendan Ernest Pickerel in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. Brad Joseph Reyes in Engineering Science and a Bachelor of Science. Michael Jesse Robertson in Mechatronics Engineering and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Catherine May Skelton in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Pak To Tang in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering Honours conjoint with Second Class Honours First Division. Rahul Joseph Elberkirk in Electrical and Electronic Engineering and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Calvin Chan in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Liam Patrick Devoy in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Siddharth Gutham in Mechatronics Engineering and a Bachelor of Science. Sophia Adele Johnson in Mechanical Engineering and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Dihanish Sanil Kulkarni in Electrical and Electronics Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Zhong Wan Lee in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Jenny Mar Marie MacArthur in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. Santi Xingzhi Zhang in Electrical and Electronics Engineering and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering Honours conjoint with Second Class Honours, Second Division. Sean Christopher Blyde in Electrical and Electronics Engineering and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Chi Ming Chang in a Mechatronics Engineering and a Bachelor of Science. To the degree of Master of Energy with First Class Honours, Ashley James McLean. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Energy with Second Class Honours First Division, Roy Nunstagi. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering with First Class Honours, Peter James LG in Civil Engineering. Lukman Ramadana Bhaktiar in Engineering Science. <laughs> Alison Margaret Clark in Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Helen Kathleen Griffin in Civil Engineering. 
David Harry Isaacs in Mechanical Engineering. Ryan James McKernan Millen in Civil Engineering. Nadia Liana Mohamed Kamal in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Nadine Lunola Papali in, in Environmental Engineering. Neha Sharma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Jay Yang Song in Mechanical Engineering. Wisnu Arya Surendra in Mechanical Engineering. Tian Sheng in Software Engineering. <laughs> Stefan Hendhika Wijanto in Civil Engineering. <laughs> University Graduate Scholar Michelle Lynn Willis in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Ian, Ian Weldon Wright in Mechanical Engineering. Chen Wei Yang in Computer Systems Engineering. <laughs> Shi Jing in Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Yida Zhao in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering with Second Class Honours First Division. Kevin V. King Chong in, in Engineering Science. Abraham Francis in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Yin Pok Lao in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Sun Yong Lim in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <laughs> Shruti Vijay Nair in, in Chemical and Materials Engineering. To the degree of Master Engineering with Second Class Honours, Second Division. Shi Kuan Wang in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Tong Zhi in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. <clears throat> to the degree of Master of Engineering. Dan Verjude Bruganzu in Software Engineering. to the degree of Master of Engineering Management with First Class Honours. Ryan Paul Ainsworth. <laughs> Fan Cheng. <laughs> Sung Hoon Choi. <laughs> Amy Elizabeth Hodgson. Bernard Lynn Yip. <laughs> Yin Young Kim. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering Management with Second Class Honours First Division. Rafat Abedin Khan. <laughs> Hayden Matthew McLennan. Yudamatha Gamagi Chami Yudamatha. <laughs> Christian Yudaro Vidala Ortega. <laughs> Abhishek Wali. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering Studies with First Class Honours. Chong Cheng Fong. Vivian Martha Quayle in me Medical Devices and Technologies. <laughs> Ryan Maitland Grant. <laughs> Suraj Hari. <laughs> David Robert Kemps in Medical Devices and Technologies. 
Jeeva Sugum Mutu in Medical Devices and Technologies. Baskar Pedirado. Zhong Ha Wang in Construction Management. Lily Wu. Yang Yushin. Shun Jun Zhang. Yu Zhao in Transportation. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering Studies with Second Class Honours First Division. Albert Eng. <laughs> Benjamin Adams Burroughs in Transportation. <laughs> Chai Ying Chan in Transportation. Pekwa Patrick Chan in Transportation. Ziz Kit Derek Cheung in Geotechnical Engineering. Adria D'Souza in Construction Management. Fan Lee. Benedict Shinim Fong in Transportation. <laughs> Zahidullah Ahmed. <laughs> Paul Tao in Medical Devices and Technologies. <laughs> Mohammed Wali Islam and a Graduate Diploma in Engineering. Ali is a dig half for her key. That one. Virish Nanavala Shivakuma. Nishanth Kuma Nalavara Raju. Yusuf Khalil Yusuf Samoa. Vaughan Patrick Scott in Transportation. <laughs> Shubham Sharma. <laughs> Wei Shi. <laughs> Jimmy Thomas in Plastics. <laughs> Yan Sai Trung in Transportation. Ranjith Subaya Yudapanda Ganendra. <laughs> Suraj Virana Gada Kadu. <laughs> Jeffrey Santiago Bananas in Mechanical Devices and Technologies. <laughs> Yanji Shao. Ai Fan Jing. <laughs> Yu Zhang in construction management. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering Studies with Second Class Honours, Second Division. Arthur Marie Laurent Berthier in yacht engineering. <laughs> Wei Chen. Path Jadif Kuma Doriwala. <laughs> Panita Grewal. <laughs> Hekima Tula Hekmet. <laughs> Danyan Huo. <laughs> Rabi Parish Kuma. 
Kani Yal Alla. <laughs> Jin Heng Liu. <laughs> Dewa Niu. <laughs> Fei Ping. <laughs> Shriya Sharma in construction management. Vaibhav Samani. Juan <laughs> Chun Tai in transportation. <laughs> Punaka Sampana Damasina Watai Alaji. <laughs> Ru Zhuzhao. Lin Yang. <laughs> Trevor Yeoman. <laughs> Chai Ho Brian Yip in transportation. <laughs> Ying Zhang. <laughs> Wen Zhao. To the degree of Master of Engineering Studies, Raymond Francis Bailey in Transportation. Okay. Sanchit Gupta. Nicola Rachel Harrison in Yacht Engineering. Min Kat Vo. Jijin Jai. <laughs> Payin Zhao. I call upon the Vice Chancellor to present the doctoral graduates. Chancellor, I have the honour of presenting to you the doctoral graduates. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Rachita Dahama in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, University Doctoral Scholar. Rachita investigated spectrum sharing between a broadcast primary system and an unlicensed ad hoc network. She focused on the analysis of protection requirements for the primary system to avoid compromise due to interference from the unlicensed system. Rachita. <laughs> Dimitro Dezur in Civil Engineering, University Doctoral Scholar. Dimitro investigated the applicability of near surface mounted carbon fiber reinforced polymer strips as an earthquake improvement technique for vintage unreinforced masonry buildings. Practicing structural engineers have articulated great interest in the developed technique and a number of buildings have recently undergone earthquake strengthening where the technique was implemented. Temetop Kikalumu Egberlaken in civil engineering. Temi investigated potential incentives and motivators for enhancing earthquake risk mitigation in New Zealand. She developed and tested an earthquake risk mitigation decision enhancement framework and demonstrated how intrinsic and extrinsic motivators can be used to improve mitigation decisions 
and consequently reduce the impacts of future seismic disasters. Adana Sabani Gibre Ohanis in Civil Engineering. Adana assessed the seismic behaviour of reinforced concrete walls that are similar to those, to those found in buildings that collapsed or were badly damaged in the Christchurch earthquakes. The findings of his research contribute to a more realistic seismic performance assessment and strengthening of existing buildings containing this type of wall to ensure better building performance in future earthquakes. Alice Pui Lam Hung in bioengineering. Alice developed a highly detailed, anatomically accurate model of the human face intended for simulating facial expressions and biomechanical analyses. This model can potentially serve as a clinical tool for assisting planning of maxillofacial surgery. Alice. Reza Jafarzadeh in civil engineering. Reza investigated the challenge of construction cost prediction when undertaking seismo re seismic retrofitting of existing structures. The results from this investigation will enable engineering consultants, managers and policy makers to more accurately predict this cost at the early planning and budgeting stage of seismic retrofit projects. Muhammad Karam Jawad in electrical and electronic engineering. Muhammad investigated the implementation of stereo algorithms on commercially available field programmable gate array hardware. He developed a real time stereo matching hardware that is capable of producing depth maps at 30 frames per second for one megapixel images. Anthea Claire Johnson in civil engineering. Anthea investigated the transport of copper chelates within plant tissues in order to identify the mechanisms limiting photoremediation of metal contaminated soils. Shea Khan in civil engineering. Sher investigated the hydrodynamics of sediment retention ponds in order to optimise their hydraulic efficiency. His research provides design guidelines for engineers to retrofit floating treatment wetlands in both existing and newly constructed ponds. Al Sher. Mohammad Tajamal Munia in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Tajamal developed a controllability index based on relative gain array and exergy for plant wide control problems. His work can be used to make a quick comparison between several control structure candidates during early process design stages. Syed Hussain Abbas Naqvi in electrical and electronic engineering. Syed developed a novel energy efficient collaborative communication system to extend the lifetime of wireless sensor networks. The mathematical model of collaborative communication systems was developed and confirmed by simulation using off the shelf products. Noviana Chitra Salim in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Noviana studied the development of field effect transistors using organic semiconductors. She successfully fabricated a transparent non-volatile memory device based on an organic field effect transistor and her novel triple layer dielectric structure 
is responsible in creating the memory effect. This transparent memory device will support the creation of future flexible and transparent electronic devices. <laughs> Felix Scheibmeier in civil engineering. Felix developed a new type of moment connection for timber portal frame buildings, which allows for expedient and economically efficient construction. The connection has been used in a number of buildings to date, and its adoption continues to grow amongst timber design engineers. Thanks. Gareth Darcy Shaw in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Gareth developed an extension and set of tools for the IEC 61499 Open Standard. The extensions and tools improve the standard by simplifying designs and broadening the range of suitable applications. <laughs> Manbao Bassi Tam, an engineering science university doctoral scholar. Bassi developed and implemented optimization methods to solve unit crewing problems in airline crew scheduling. By using Air New Zealand data, she proved that scheduling different crew ranks to perform the same sequence of duties reduces delay propagation and improves on-time performance. <laughs> Kelly Russell Wade in Chemical and Materials Engineering. Kelly investigated the microstructural and micro-mechanical micro properties of the intervertebral disc nucleus, a region previously viewed as being largely unstructured and independent of its surrounding annulus and end plates. Kelly's research demonstrated that the nucleus contains a highly structured fibrous network, which is well integrated with its surroundings and provides a form of tethered mobility to accommodate the full range of movement associated with spinal function. Kelly. <laughs> Linda Wu in Chemical and Materials Engineering, University Doctoral Scholar. Linda used different modeling, modeling methods of aging and applied them to both wrought and cast aluminum alloys under isothermal or non-isothermal heat treatment conditions. Jian Zhang in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, University Doctoral Scholar. Jian developed novel observer-based methods to detect, isolate, and estimate actuator and sensor faults for a class of uncertain nonlinear systems. His work can be used to improve the information on faults and forms the foundation of fault-tolerant control. And in absentia, all those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the conferment of a degree or the award of a diploma in the Faculty of Engineering. Teaching Excellence Awards. The university places considerable significance on excellence in teaching. It recognizes this by making awards each year to teachers who have demonstrated excellence in aspects of teaching. These awards are contestable across the university and signify a truly superior achievement. <clears throat> Today we're making an award for sustained excellence in teaching and it goes to Associate Professor Bryony James in the Department of Chemical and Materials Engineering within the Faculty of Engineering. I call upon a student of that faculty, Matt Impey, to read the citation for Associate Professor James.
I am delighted that Bryony James is a recipient of this Teaching Excellence Award. Uh, when I recall my first year of study, Bryony's material science class stands out as my most rewarding and truly enjoyable time. Although her time with our class was brief, Bryony's impact was remarkable. Bryony recognized how challenging first year tertiary study could be, and she tried continuously to make each lecture engaging and highly rewarding, whilst encouraging class involvement and discussion. Bryony's passion for her subject and enthusiasm in teaching were infectious, and soon we were all just as keen on material science as she is. This, this enthusiasm was demonstrated through the remarkable resourcefulness which Bryony showed in providing a visual demonstration for every concept covered in every lecture. These provided an extremely valuable tactile example and mnemonics for, memory of, for uh, the more challenging concepts. The consideration taken in crafting her lectures was also evident in Bryony's material itself as she endeavoured to impart as much knowledge as possible whilst taking great care to ensure her lectures were concise and understandable and that she engaged each of the various learning styles contained in such a large class. Perhaps the most innovative of Bryony's methods was her utilisation of post-it notes as a feedback medium. Bryony would hand out post-it notes to the class and these would be questions written on them and then affixed to the door at the conclusion. This anonymous and simple method led to a level of student engagement and discussion that's unparalleled in anything I've seen since. This method of communication allowed for a certain charm as well as encouraging formal discussions, promoting free and open conversation in the class, and a certain opportunity for humour. Uh, Bryony's major strength lay in her untiring efforts to make her lectures as rewarding as possible for her class. This wholehearted commitment to her students was highly appreciated, and I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to congratulate Bryony James as she receives this thoroughly deserved teaching award. We're now nearing the conclusion of this graduation ceremony. On behalf of the university, I invite all today's graduates to stand and receive the congratulations of us all. This would also be a great time for the graduates to show their appreciation of their families and supporters and the staff on the university who have helped them as they achieved their qualifications. This concludes this meeting of council and convocation of the university for the conferment of degrees and the award of diplomas. I now invite you to stand and sing the first verse of God Defend New Zealand in Māori, then in English. The words are presented on the reverse of your program. Thank you. Thank you.